welcome to the Siler Quick Tip. Today, we are going to talk about setting up the seafloor hydrone and starting a survey with a hydrolyte. First, I will show you how to put it together. Now that everything is out of the case, we'll start putting it together. Now that we have the hydrone put together and the batteries installed, we're going to run everything and make sure that the motors work before we put it in the water. To begin, we're going to turn on the remote and hold down the power button, make sure all four dots appear, and then we're going to let go. It's going to show the seafloor startup screen, then it's going to say FR Sky. Once it gets to the main screen, we're going to turn on both pontoons, and then we're going to hear startup tones, and then a final beep on both the left and the right side. But once those start up, then we can test both motors, just simple forward thrust, backward on the left, and then we're gonna do the same on the right. Make sure it goes forward and back. Once we make sure that those are ready to go and running, we're gonna attach the sonar mite, to make sure that we can start our survey. Now that we have the hydro assembled, batteries installed, and motors tested to make sure that they're running, we're going to install the transducer for the sonar mite so that we can begin our survey out on the lake. So we're going to unscrew everything until the pole spins freely. Hold the sonar mite, the transducer, on the bottom, and then we're just going to spin until this is all the way on. Once we make sure it is on there securely, we're going to take our R10 receiver, or whatever receiver you're using for the day, make sure it is turned on, we're going to attach this to the top. Before we head to the water, we need to make sure that we have the battery pack of the sonar mite. And then we're going to plug this in to the XDR slot. Now we're ready to go. Now that we have the sonar mite hooked up to the hydrone, and the hydrone totally ready to go, let's make sure that everything is set up in the collector so that we can start our survey. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is set up a survey style. So we're going to go to settings and then survey styles. And if you don't already have a Sonomite survey style, you're going to create a new one. That's what we're going to do here. So we are just going to call this Sonomite. Style type will be GNSS and we're going to accept. Now we're going to go into rover options survey type RTK, then the broadcast format. Today I will be using VRS, so we're going to set that the broadcast format as VRS CMR. The antenna type, I will be using an R102, and we're going to accept. Now since I'm using VRS, we're going to go into Rover Data Link. We're going to choose internet connection. And for the GNSS contact, we're going to choose my GNSS contact there, and we're going to accept. Now the important thing for when you are making a survey style for the sonar mite or for uh, any kind of echo sounder survey is to set the echo sounder part of the survey style. So we're going to go to type, whichever type that you are using. Today we are just using a standard sonar mite. Then the controller port, 
we're going to select Bluetooth. And we're going to leave everything else as it is. And then we're going to store. We're going to escape out of there. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our sonar mite is Bluetoothed and ready to go inside of the collector. So we're going to go to Instrument, GNSS Functions, and we're going to click on Bluetooth. So we're going to make sure that our GNSS rover, just like in any survey, is set to the one that we will be using. And then if you see the bottom of this left-hand side, it says Connect to Echo Sounder. So I currently have selected the echo sounder that we're going to be using today. So just make sure that uh, whichever echo sounder you're using is selected there. And how you'll know is on the echo sounder box is a serial number, and that is what will show up there. So we're going to accept, and we're going to click OK, get out of there. Now we're ready to start our survey. So when we are doing a survey with SonarMite, we're going to go into measure, select our sonar mate survey style and to run with the depths uh, and, and run an actual survey we're going to choose continuous topo and now since i'm using vrs this is going to look for which mount point we want we're going to accept that it's going to open the connection and it's going to start our survey now that we are start the survey is started we can see our globe is spinning. We can set our antenna height. Uh, typically, it's going to be, it, it depends on what rods you're using, but for today, we're going to have our set at one meter. We're going to enter. And then uh, I would recommend using a fixed distance type of topo. So I have mine set at seven meters. You can choose whatever you want. Here in the distance is where you're going to set it. Let's, we'll just do 30 feet today. That is set. You're going to set your start point name. We're just going to start at 1000 and then whatever code that you'd be using out of your feature code library. Now, the important thing to check, other than that you are getting good corrections, which we're getting down there, um, getting fixed, is to make sure that the depth is actually reading. Uh, you can see that it's hovering right around 1.8 feet right now. Um, so that's what you want to see. If there's no depths that show up there, you want to make sure, one, that you are in continuous topo, two, that there's both the red light blinking on the battery box for the sonar mite and the blue Bluetooth light is on, and also that you are connected, uh, how I showed us, make sure that we're connected through Bluetooth to the collector. Now, once all that is up and running, you'd have everything ready, you would click start, and now the survey is ready to go. Now that we have the boat ready to go and the controller ready, let's start the survey. Thanks for watching. For more videos, you can visit our training and support page at silogeo.com. And be sure to look us up and subscribe on all major social media platforms.